Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about uh, chapter 6, new chapter, the last chapter in our uh, curriculum. Uh, we are going to talk about lessons from 111 till 113. As you can see, we will talk about lesson 111, 112, 113. These three lessons talk about the same topic, which we talk it in, uh, in first term. We take it in first term. Uh, this lesson talk about uh, data chart, its type and features. What are data chart? Data chart is a type of diagram or graph. We talk about this in first term. In this lesson, we are going to learn two type of graph. Par graph, which have these rectangles, and it's called par graph because each one of this called par, this rectangle called par, so this shape called par graph, and we have this shape, it's called pictograph, Pictograph because here we use some picture to represent our data, so we called it pictograph or we named by pictograph. In the beginning, we are going to talk about par graph and how we are going to solve the questions which have par graph. In the beginning, we need to know the value of each par. We know the value of each bar from this line, from this line, from this vertical line. So we need to make some lines here from the top of the bar to this vertical line to know the number or the value of each part of this. Like this, we make this line and we see the number. But here we don't have number here. But this number in between, between 6 and 8, the number in between 6 and 8 is 7. So this bar or red, its value is 7. And we'll make this operation in each of these parts like this orange will be 11 because it's between 10 and 12 yellow will be 15 because it's between 14 and 16 green I will make this line and see it come to 12 and here blue I make the line and it come to 10 like that so I know the value of each bar so my question to solve will be easy when I know the value of each bar let's see an example to see how we uh, how we are going to solve this example here we have this chart and we have some shape the children in uh, salamander class had a vote on their best uh, on their best best shape some children choose their best shape from these shapes, triangle and square, rectangle, pentagon, hexagon, octagon. Also here I will make this line to know the value of each bar. Triangle will be 6. Square will be 4. Rectangle will be 2. Pentagon will be 6. We write here 6. Uh, sorry, 5. Hexagon. I see hexagon here. Come to 4 and octagon is the most come to seven now i know the value of each bar we are going to read the question and solve which shape was the most popular what does this mean he asked me to know the value or he asked me to know the name because he asked about which shape here we don't ask about number but here we ask about the name the name of the shape which has most popular, the most number, the highest length of. Now we are going to try it octagon because octagon is the most. Question from 2 to 6 ask about numbers of each shape. How many votes did the square get? Where is the square? Here. I write 4, so I write 4 here. How many votes did the triangle get? triangle get six right here six how many votes did the pentagon get where's the pentagon pentagon is here get five how many votes did the hexagon get where is the hexagon hexagon here has four right here four how many votes did the octagon get here is the octagon octagon get seven right here seven the last one which shape 
here also we ask about shape we don't ask about number but we ask about name of the shape which shape got the fewest votes the fewest votes mean the smallest one the smallest number where is the smallest number here this is the smallest number the name of the smallest shape is rectangle which has the smallest number or the smallest number of votes so here we are going to write to uh, write rectangle the name sorry we write the name of the shape because here we don't ask about number but we ask about name of the shape okay so this is the power graph and uh, I think all the examples are the same and also we talk about power graph in first term now we are going to see the second topic in this lesson is pictograph which use some kitcher to represent this uh, data in the beginning we, we will see the key down the key here means each one of this equal to each one two which full one equal to but half equal one we need to know the value of each all of this we need to know the value of all of this we will write the number but we will count by two because here is two so I will count each one of this by two like this two four six eight so the fa the value the value of all of this the value of all of this is eight we will write it here in behind here two four six eight ten twelve but here i have here we have here we are uh, here we have a have so i can't write here 14 so i will write here 13 as you can see because here we have have half of this not full one but have here two four six eight ten twelve fourteen but here also we have we have have so we can't write 16 but we will write 15 like this we need to count this two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen 18 also here we have 18 here 2 4 6 have also so we can't write 8 so I will add 1 here just add 1 it will be 7 like here we just add 1 to 12 come to 13 we add 1 to 14 so it come 15 why we add 1 because he tell me in the key down that the full 1 equal 2 the have 1 equal 1 okay so it will be seven here two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and here we have also have will be the same like Mary Nina will be like Mary we will add one here to 14 it will come to 15 and the total number of this will be 15 this is the first step to solve any question related to pictograph to know the value of each one of this children to know the value of each one it will make the question will be easy for you let's see another question here here we have some children Jack J Jill Tom Ken and Mary counted the shooting stars the graph show how many shooting stars each child saw use the graph to answer the questions below in the beginning we need to read the key to know how to count the stars he told me each star equal two shooting stars so each star equal two so I will count here by two let's start count two four six eight ten twelve the total number will be twelve here two four six eight and eight two four six and six two four six also will be six the same here Tom and Ken the same Mary two last one four will be four now I will start to solve the question and you will see how is this help me to solve the question 
How many shooting stars did Tom count? Where is Tom here? How many? Six. So I will write six. Just who? He ask about name of the child. Here we are going. We will not write number, but we will write name because he tell me who. Who counted the most shooting star? The highest number was twelve. But who was Jack? Right here, Jack. Which of children counted the same amount? The same. Which children count the same amount of shooting stars? He asked me to write the name of the children who counted the same. The same was here. We have two numbers. The same six and six. We need to write the name Tom and Ken. Right here, Tom and Ken. The last question: How many? How many less? I tell you before, when you see the word less or more, we are going to subtract. How many less shooting stars Mary counted than Jack? Where is Mary? Mary was four. Where is Jack? Jack was twelve. So we are going to subtract twelve, four from twelve. Four from twelve. So I will write twelve minus four. Twelve minus four. Because here I see this word less. If I see less or more, I will make subtract. So I will subtract twelve minus four. Will be eight. This is our lesson for today. Lessons from one hundred eleven to one hundred thirteen. Talk about paragraph and pictograph. It's easy lessons. We talked about these lessons in first term. I will put a sheet. Sheet number uh, 34 in SMS. Please start to solve it. And thank you.